amazing to me that the prophet Isaiah predicted some crazy things over 2,700 years ago, and we're still benefiting from those today. Hey, welcome to your morning cup of ins inspiration. Thanks for joining me. Yeah, and many of you know some of those uh, projections that he said, his prophecies. One of them was in the seventh chapter where he just said a virgin was going to conceive a son. That's kind of out of nowhere. And they're going to name him Emmanuel, being God with us. What's that all about? And then over in the ninth chapter, <clears throat> it, it kind of describes some of the names of that child or of that son. And those names are so powerful and they are so important to us today that it's just amazing that God gave this prophet this information. It's still available to us every day. So as we sit and reflect, as we come into this week of Christmas and we focus on the birth of this son, I want you to just take another step and think about Jesus how he has made everything through God, through the Holy Spirit, available to us, including his presence. It's interesting in um, Isaiah 9, seventh, uh, 6th verse, where it says that his name will be called Wonderful Counselor. Do you need a wonderful counselor today? Do you need some wisdom or knowledge? Are you in the process of trying to make some decisions and you don't feel like you can do it on your own or you're confused? Go to the counselor. He will help you. He will help you make that decision and you can know beyond a shadow of a doubt. It also says he's a mighty God. Do you need that mighty, powerful God today to do a miracle in your life or to do something that you're uh, concerned about? How about an everlasting father? Maybe you need a father to wrap their arms around you and comfort you and, and let you know that they will never go away. They will always be there. That's our everlasting father. Maybe you're in the middle of chaos. Maybe you're in anxiety today. Maybe you're in depression. Maybe you are missing a loved one. Maybe someone has just passed. Maybe you plan on a lonely Christmas. Whatever is keeping that anxiety, can you realize and remember that he is your Prince of Peace? He wants to give you peace this morning through the chaos of this season. So will you allow that to take place? Let him be your counselor. Let him be your strength. Let him wrap his arms around you and walk in his peace today. He's there for you. He wants to give it to you. I pray you have a great week leading up to Christmas. And uh, I thank you for joining me for that morning cup of inspiration. Have a great day.